Hi, I'm Marcus and I'm going to cook for you another one of my favourite recipes, a lovely butternut squash and sage arancini stuffed with black pepper porzan. So the first thing we need to do is get our risotto base on. So I've got my pan just warming here slightly and we're going to add a little bit of butter in there. So really important when you make the risotto to get butter straight in the base. So just allowing that butter to melt down gently, we've got some lovely diced onions that's going to go straight into the pan. And it's really important with any risotto that you're making, when we're making this base up, we want to add flavour in. So we've got that butter, then we're adding the onions, and now we're going to get some garlic in there as well. So we've got some little diced bit of garlic, all going in there too. And just going to stir that round, just to soften those onions and bring that lovely garlic smell in. And then the next thing that's going to go in is our dry rice. Just dry rice straight in the pan. Give it a few turns building those flavour layers up as we go along. A little bit of wine going straight in there and just going to allow that to absorb through into our risotto. Just keep stirring it through until it's all evaporated. Okay, so while we're just waiting for that to evaporate, we're just going to grab our butternut squash and pop this in some boiling water just to get it cooked through. And then back to the risotto. And as soon as it starts to stick just on the base of the pan, we're then going to add some more liquid, so we need to add some stock. Now I've got a little bit of stock which is here. We're going to just carry a little bit over and just drop a ladle of stock into here and just stir that in. Now it's quite important when we're doing our risotto that we don't add all the stock at once. We want to just bind it together slowly, a little ladle at a time. Okay, that's perfect. Now that's going to go off now. It's really important to make sure we allow that to cool down, pop it into the fridge and that's going to firm up and make a really nice sticky base for our arancini. Okay, so we've got our nice cooled risotto and you can see it's just sort of started to firm up so it's gone nice and sticky, so it's exactly as we need it. Next thing, we've got our butternut squash. I'm just gonna put that straight into our risotto and make sure this is really well cooked. And then I'm just gonna get the back of a fork and I'm just gonna start to break them up. And that's gonna add all that lovely flavor from the squash. Okay, perfect. So next thing we need to add into this is our sage. So I'm just gonna take a few of these heads off here. And this is really down to personal preference. You can put more sage in or a little, just have a little taste. Remember the risotto is cooked, so you can just taste it as you go along. Okay, let's get that in. And then same again, just bind it all together. Give it a nice stir in. And you should be able to smell everything binding together. And of course, quite important now, we need to season it. So a little bit of salt and pepper. Just a pinch of each. Make sure you're happy with how it works. So you mix it together. Try a little bit. Fantastic, you want that balance of flavour so you can taste the squash, the sage and all that lovely flavoursome risotto. Okay, so let's grab our borsan with black pepper. I'm just going to open that up and I'm just going to take a little pinch and around about, make it sort of roughly around about five gram little balls. So we're just going to get them in the palm of our hand and just ball them together to make a nice little shape here. Now we need to grab our risotto mix. So we've got a couple of those balls done, okay. A little bit of this into the palm of your hand and we're just going to grab this in the center and we're just going to bind it together. You've got to make sure you don't squeeze it too tight because we don't want that the bore sand to come out and squeeze out. So just a shape just like this, okay, that would be perfect. Okay, so we've made up our own chini balls, they're all ready to go. So now the next thing is to make some egg wash and get some breadcrumbs ready. So I'm just going to grab my bowl, one whole egg, a pinch of salt and then a little splash of milk in there as well. I'm just going to give that a little whisk up just to break down that egg with that salt. So grab one of them, dip them into our egg wash, make sure they're completely covered, shake off any excess and then straight into our breadcrumbs. Excellent. So they're all done. So let's get our oil up to temperature. Now one of the best ways of checking your temperature of your oil is to make sure you use a thermometer. So as soon as it's up to temperature, turn off your oil. We're going to grab a slotted spoon and we're just going to pop our arancini onto the spoon and just lower them into our oil, okay? And if you have a look in here, these are all ready to go. So you can see that lovely golden colour, that's exactly what we're looking for. Just lifting these out, so just take them out, pop them onto a little bit of kitchen roll just to drain off that excess oil. So we're just going to pop these onto our plate ready for serving. Just going to slice through the centre there. Cut that. A little bit of sage to garnish. A little sprinkle of salt over the top. 
And there you have it, my lovely butternut squash and sage arancini with a lovely black pepper borsan centre. To discover more fantastic recipes, go to borsan.co.uk.